Hey y'all, so I'm guessing you clicked on this video because you've been having a lot of headaches and you've been struggling a lot with getting the web UI user to work with Stable Diffusion. Well, today I wanna to present to you a couple errors and a couple of the quick fixes to help fix those errors. First of all, I wanna talk about when you first click on the web UI user, typically, or at least what happened with me, is that Python isn't found or Torch couldn't find Python, something along the lines of the Python that you're running is wrong. And it doesn't show it on here. This is a different error, but pretty much what I've noticed after installing and uninstalling many different versions of Python is that anything from Python 10.10 .10 and up so like 11.2 and 11.3 will not work with stable diffusion. Now Python uh, 10.9 and 10.6, like right here you see I'm running 10.6, actually have worked. So currently I'm just running 10.6 because that's the last Python I've installed, but you can also try 10.9 on your own computer and see if that works. Now another common error and how to fix it is this right here. It says, Torch is not able to use GPU and it'll tell you to add skip Torch CUDA test to command line args. Now, it is trying to help you, but even though I saw this many times, I had no idea where I needed to put skip Torch CUDA test or how to do it. So after searching up on it, the best way to fix this is having your web ui user selected and then you want to right click on it you want to go to show more options go to edit and then right here next to set command line args you want to type out this dash dash low vram with a space and then dash dash precision full with a space and then dash dash no half with a space after and do not forget to Add the dash in the middle of no half and then the dash dash skip porch CUDA test that we saw in the terminal error. So now once you have all this typed out exactly as you see on screen, you want to go to file and save and then you can exit out of this tab. So now if your only error was the torch not being able to access the GPU or not being able to use the GPU, it should work now. Now, what this does is after you actually launch Stable Diffusion and get into it through your own personalized link, is it lets you have Stable Diffusion and use it, but it will go way, way, way slower than if you have the right NVIDIA driver on your computer. Now, personally, I only have a laptop and I don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, so this is why I use this, but I am sure there are other ways to access Stable Diffusion where it doesn't need a GPU, but it also goes faster. I've heard there's a way that you can use Google Classroom or something of the sort and access Stable Diffusion for two hours a day. And if you want me to make a video on how to set that up, please comment down that below in the comment section. Now, there is one more error I want to talk about that ha hasn't popped up on my terminal, and that is something to do with your, your version of your PIP or your PIP isn't up to the date or it's not on the right version. So the way you can fix this is by typing in CMD to your folder name and pressing enter. Another terminal will pop up, and right here you want to add PIP install. And then after that, you want to say dash dash upgrade pip. And what this should do is it should update your version of pip to the current version or the latest version that's come out. Now, I don't think this will necessarily make or break you being able to get into Stable Diffusion but depending on some of the different extensions that you add to Stable Diffusion, it won't let you use those extensions, such as 
the control net or the pix to pix extension. Now, like I said before, if you want more information or you want more quick fixes on different errors in stable diffusion, please comment that down below. And I'll enjoy reading your comments. Y'all have a great day.